In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Sega Genesis core in RetroArch called Genesis Plus GX. Okay, we're gonna head on over to RetroArch.com. You will find the link to this page in a pinned comment below. Once you are here, go ahead and click on download and we're gonna download the nightly version. Once you click on it, your download will start. I have moved the setup file here on my desktop. Let's go ahead and open it. Now you can't see my screen because my user account control came up. Go ahead and hit yes to allow this app to make changes. Agree to the license agreement. Go ahead and choose a location where you want to install RetroArch. You can install this on an SSD, external SSD, external hard drive, it's up to you. For this video, I'm just gonna leave it on my desktop, which is my C drive, next. Go ahead and check the box for DirectX 9.0, next. I am not going to create any start menu shortcuts, install. Then you're going to get this pop up to install DirectX, go ahead and check the box, I accept the agreement, next, and you want to make sure you uncheck install the Bing bar, next, and finish, and finish over here. Once the install is finished, you will get a shortcut in that same location. Now we can go ahead and open RetroArch. Now let's go over to load core, download a core, and we're gonna scroll down until we see Sega. And the core we are looking for is Genesis Plus GX. Now you will also notice there is a Genesis Plus GX wide. And what this core does is allows you to play in a 16 to nine aspect ratio. But I will let you know it does come with glitches. Technically, you will still be playing in a four to three aspect ratio with extra screen real estate being artificially rendered, which in some cases will look weird and you will have weird pop-ins. So we're sticking with the standard version of Genesis Plus GX. Go ahead and click on it and that core will download. Now let's go back and now let's go to import content. And if you don't see import content over here, you may see it over here. Scan directory, go ahead and locate wherever you have your Genesis ROMs. In my case, on my desktop, which is my C drive, I'm gonna go to users, the name of my PC, desktop, and I have a folder on my desktop named ROMs. Inside of that folder, I have a folder called Genesis, and this is where I keep my Genesis ROMs. Now I'm gonna click scan this directory. Now let's go back, back to the main menu. And if we look over here at the bottom left, you will see Mega Drive Genesis. And if you click on it, you will be able to see all of your Genesis ROMs. Now let's add some cover art to our games. Let's go back up to main menu, online updater, playlist thumbnails updater, Mega Drive Genesis, and you will see your ROMs at the bottom, downloading cover art. When it's finished, let's head back to the main menu, go back down to Mega Drive Genesis, and if we hover over our games, you will now see box art. Let's go ahead and select the game, go up to run, now under suggested cores, if you had multiple cores downloaded for Sega Genesis, then you will select which core you want to run this game. In our case, we only have one option, which is Genesis Plus GX. That core is now set. Now if we hit run again, the game will start. But first, let's go ahead and connect our controller. In my case, I will be using an Xbox Series X controller. And there is no setup required. Once you connect that controller to your PC, you will get this alert at the bottom of your screen letting you know that controller is connected and we are good to go. We can go ahead and hit run. Now if you want to get to your settings then just press the F1 key. Now here, you can restart your game, close your game, access your save states, you can access the core options. Now for these lower end emulators like Sega Genesis, you really don't have to mess with your core options. Everything is already optimized to run with the best settings. If you're not happy with your controller layout, then you can change that here. You can take screenshots, recordings, 
And if we scroll down, you will see the option to rewind your game, you know, for all those mess ups. Now, like I said, for these lower end systems, I really don't like to mess with anything here. But one thing I do like to change is my on screen overlay. And we're going to go ahead and select display overlay and then go down to overlay preset and select borders. Now, what these are, are overlays that will get rid of those black bars on the right and left side of your screen. Let's go to animated border. And we're going to select this one here, Mega Drive Animated Border. Now, if we go back into our game, you will see that we have these nice looking borders on the side. And I think this looks really nice. Now, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one.